I'll bet you've been having a look at Halley's Comet and trying to find it. And after the comet's gone, you'll probably be using things like your star chart to find other interesting astronomical things. But there's a problem. If you go inside before you go comet hunting, and you, then you go out into the dark night, it takes your eyes about half an hour to adapt to the dark, because the light coming into your eyes really makes the back of them rather insensitive. Or if you're outside trying to use your star chart and you put a bright torch onto it, you can find where the comet ought to be, but once again, you've made your eyes insensitive and you have to wait till they adapt. At least you don't always. But to understand why, let's see how the eye is working. The eyeball is really rather like a little ball with a clear window in the front. And when you look at something like this person, light rays from them come through the lens in your eye and form a picture right on the eye's back on a part called the retina. And that's how the, the picture is thrown into the eye. But how does the eye actually translate that picture into impulses that it sends to the brain? Well, really, there are two sorts of receptors in the retina. Ones which we use for seeing people are those in the middle, or mainly in the middle, the cones. And they respond to bright light and colour and very accurate vision. And they're the ones that we'll use in a room like this or under sunlight. But for dim light, the sort of light you use when you're looking for comets, we use a different sort of receptor, and those are here. Mostly on the outside of the retina, scattered all through it, they are the rods, and they respond to dim light, black and white, and generally they're nighttime receptors. And they're the ones that we want to use for Halley's. So let's separate the two, which you can do like this. You can use a piece of cardboard and cut out of it with scissors a pair of spectacles. Make sure that they fit you. These are, are good for me, they wouldn't be too good for you, but you can personalise these. And then clip out lenses from the inside. Once they're like that, and you're certain that you can see through them adequately, stick over them red cellophane. Now red cellophane comes in various shades, and if you're not sure whether to use the deep red or the orange, put one of each on. It'll uh, work even better that way. The result is a pair of red dark glasses like these. And when you put them on, you'll see the world much as I am now. It's a bit fuzzy, it's very red, but things are certainly quite clear. And these are what you use inside before you go out to Comet Spot. Because these, with the red light, only affect the cones. They don't touch the rods which you're going to use in dim light. When you go outside, you take them off. And the rods are unaffected, and without waiting for half an hour, you can go looking for these little pinpricks of light in the sky. Well, that's great if you have to come inside and out, and you've got lights that are going on and off. If you only want to use a torch outside, you can do it even more quickly by just getting a bit of red cellophane and clamping it over the end of the torch. Then you just turn the torch on with red light, look on your star chart, turn it off, and look at the heavens, and your rods and your cones will be used separately. Good hunting. I want to know. Curiosity.